Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I've got a cute little box to show you today. It is a double hinge box, and I'll show you how it opens in a second. Um, I am using the Warms My Heart stamp set this week, a really fun stamp set, um, some really cute little girls. If you like to color, this is a set that you will definitely like. Um, for my tag, I needed just a little tiny sentiment down here, so I pulled out Wonderful Thoughts, and I'm using the Small Thanks uh, from that. Okay, so let me show you how the box opens and then I'll show you what's in it. Um, if you'll notice, our little cute girl is holding a basket of apples. So I found an apple treat. The box opens like this. And inside are these Bobo's apple pie stuffed oat bites. I'd never seen these before. They're new to me, but now suddenly I'm seeing them everywhere. I link them on Amazon in case you are wanting to get them. Um, I also, I found my box actually at our local CVS. Uh, so you could probably find them in your area too. All right, well, let's make the box first. All right, we're gonna start out with a piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock that is six and three fourths by five and a fourth. And we're gonna score all four sides at one and a fourth. Then you're gonna need two pieces of Pretty Peacock cardstock that measure four and three fourths by five and a fourth. On the long side, we're gonna score at one and a fourth and four. And then on the short side, we're gonna score it at one and two and a fourth. Okay, so let's do that again. Uh, score that long side at one and a fourth and four and the short side at one and two and a fourth. Okay. All right. Burnish those lines nice and crisp with your bone folder. And then get your scissors and we're going to cut off the corners. Okay. And then on the short side, whoops, I did a terrible job. Let's try that again. On the short side, you're going to cut the score lines up to the other score line. All right. Now grab your glue. And we're gonna put glue, I should actually put them on the triangles like that. Fold that up. See, that's why you gotta put it on the triangle so you don't get glue everywhere. And fold that. And let's fold this one in. You're gonna put your clothespins there to hold it closed while it's drying. All right, so fold that, clip and clip. Now for the hinged lid, we're going to burnish those lines. All right. All right. The first thing that you're going to do is cut off these two corners right here. And I'm going to do it at an angle. I want to go in at an angle on that side. Okay, so like that. And like that. And now you're going to cut these. Okay, and we're going to take our adhesive. I'm going to put it on that square right there and adhere that like that. And adhere that one like that. Okay, we're gonna let those dry. Let's do this one one more time. Remember, cut off those square tabs, and this you wanna cut at a corner. We're gonna tuck that in, underneath the bottom of the box, so when you cut the corner off, it hides that extra cardstock. All right, and then snip these like that then adhesive and add whoa get a little crazy with the adhesive 
fold them in and use your clothespin like that. All right, we're gonna set all of that aside to dry and we're gonna uh, stamp our tag and color. All right, we're gonna stamp our girl in memento black and I've got a basic white greetings of the season tag. All right, I'm gonna stamp her right there. Now, your color choices, of course, are up to you, but I'm gonna show you how I colored mine. Let's bring her over. We're gonna start with Lost Lagoon for her dress, and I am gonna use a Light Lost Lagoon, and I'm using the bullet tip end of my uh, marker and be just go slowly. You don't wanna bleed this color over and into her skin because it will be hard to cover up with a lighter skin color. All right, and then I'm gonna take my dark. I'm gonna use the brush in to just add a little bit of shadow like that. And there would be a little bit of shadow here across the, the breast part where she's got the shadow of the apples. Now skin color is up to you. I grabbed one of my natural skin tone. Actually, they're just called natural tone stamp and blends. I always call them skin tone, but that's not what they're called. <laughs> they're just natural tones, which are all, which are great for skin coloring, skin tone. All right, we're gonna color that in. And you can go back and add a little bit of shadow here, like that. There we go. All right, now for the apples, I am using Cherry Cobbler. And I got my light Cherry Cobbler, and I'm just gonna color about every other apple. All right, and then I'm gonna get Wild Wheat and color them like golden apples. And while I have my wild wheat out, this is my wild wheat light, I am going to color her hat. Okay, I'm gonna take that dark wild wheat and we're gonna add some dark here and then just kind of under her band and maybe a little bit like that. All right, I'm gonna come back with my Dark Lost Lagoon. Color that band right there. All right, for her hair, I've chosen Copper Clay. And so I'm gonna take my Light Copper Clay and color that. You can take your Dark and maybe give her some low lights. Okay, and then we will get our light. Um, looks like I only have my dark um, crumb cake. For some reason, I always do that. I have two darks and I always grab the two darks. So that's okay, we'll make it work. I don't know how I ended up with two darks. Well, probably because I got a new set and didn't throw the old one away. I always run out of the light color before I run out of the dark color. All right, um, and then last but not least, let's take just a little bit of old olive and add color in those, those leaves like that. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp our sentiment again from the wonderful thoughts. And I'm gonna stamp it in Pretty Peacock right there. Grab my dimensionals over here. And the paper that I'm using is from our Regal um, floral paper. Let me look at my list. No, Regal winter paper. And I'm gonna put a dimensional. I've cut out a circle with my stylus shape dies and we're just gonna load that right there. Load it up and look how pretty that is. All right, let's bring back our box. The first thing that we need to do is cut, make some adjustments to our lid. 
you're gonna probably want bigger scissors for this. And we're gonna just cut at a diagonal from the bottom to the top corner right there. All right, there you go. So there's your first lid. And let's do the same thing over here, like that. Okay, all right, let's put this together. Remove your clothespins. And we're gonna put adhesive right here on this bottom tab that we cut the, the um, corners off, remember? And you're gonna take the bottom of your box and set it right down on the right side of the score line, okay? Just leave a hair, hair's width of the score line. See how that closes like that? All right, and we'll put some more adhesive here and do the same thing right here. And they close like that. Isn't that cool? All right, let's get one of our little, our little goodies, put that in there and close your box. Now, I also have this Regal Winter Designer Series paper and we're going to put that right there and that one right there and then close that up and let's grab the Cherry Cobbler ribbon. I, I really like this ribbon. It's very uh, delicate and soft. It's not real bulky. And we will tie a bow. Like that. And then I've got some gold trim. And uh, the greetings of the season dies are actually tags. And for whatever reason, this one didn't cut the hole all the way out, but they do already punch the hole for you, which is really nice. And we're gonna feed that trim through there, run it under the bow, and we'll tie this to the bow. And as you saw at the beginning, you can just slide that bow off to open the box, which is nice too, because then it can go right back together easily. And that's it, a nice little fall treat with an apple snack for anybody. A friend, a coworker, maybe your hairdresser, and I think they'll like it. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.